This word is used 17 times in the New Testament, but it's translated five different ways, right? But I'm just going to expand on the three most popular words that people use to translate elenco. The popular translation for elenco is the word rebuke, right? To expose means to rebuke. It's used in, um, just if you go to Luke 3, 19. Uh, Emily, can you go to 1 Timothy 5, verse 20? Uh, Lawrence, can you go to Titus chapter 1, verse 13? Richard, can you go to Titus chapter 2, verse 15? Jess, could you go to Hebrews 12, verse 5? And Lolo, can you go to Revelation 3, verse 19? Right, so, and, so, every, so the most popular word that's used to translate Lincoln is the word rebuke. And it's used in these scriptures. So, um, starting one by one, could you read out the, the scripture and read out the passage? Luke three nineteen. But Herod the Tetrarch, being rebuked by him concerning Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, and for all evils which Herod had done. 1 Timothy, Timothy 5.20 um, The ones who sin reprove before all that the rest also may have fear. Titus chapter 1 verse 13 This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. Titus chapter 2 verse 15 these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority, let no man despise thee. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5. And ye have forgotten, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Amen. Amen. So, if you've got those verses, the main thing, every time the word rebuke is used, the other one that's also used is love. Right? This rebuke that, that, that God encourages us to, to do is a rebuke always out of love for the other. It's never done in hatred, it's never done in frustration, it's always done out of love, right? And so that's the popular translation for Elenko, it's rebuke, but it's rebuke in love. The second popular translation for Elenko is conflict, right? If you expose someone, not only are you to rebuke them in love, but you convict them. Um, Tristan, could you go to John chapter 8, verse 9? Emily, could you go to John chapter 8, verse 46? Lyrics, could you go to John chapter 16, verse 8? Uh, Richard, could you go to Titus chapter 1, verse 9? And Jess, could you go to James chapter 2, verse 9? So that's the second popular translation. Good luck. Titus chapter 1 verse 9 Holding fast the faithful word as ye have been taught that he may be able to they may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. John 16a And when he has come he will prove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. 
John chapter 8, verse 40. 46. Yeah, 46. What should you convict me of sin? Since I speak the truth, why do you not believe me? John 8, 9. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Right. And so the second book of translation is the word convict, which is used in these scriptures. And so this conviction, it's always in the mind and in the heart. Right? To expose darkness is to bring people into conviction. It's to show them how this particular sin is not pleasing to God. Because conviction, it cleanses our mind. Right? And meaning like it brings the fear of the Lord, which pushes us towards a more pure and innocent conscience. Yeah? Does that make sense? Alright. And so the third popular translation of the word Lincoln is exposed. Right? And so... Um, Noel, if you could go to John chapter 3, verse 20. Um, just if you could go to Ephesians 5, 11. Um, and Richard, if you could go to John, I mean, Ephesians 5, 13. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 13. For all things that are repaired. For all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Ephesians chapter 5, verse, uh, verse uh, 11. 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. John chapter 3, verse 11. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and ye have, and ye receive not our witness. Amen. Is that John 3, 20? Oh, no, John 3, verse 20. Okay, sorry. <laughs> For, verse 20. <laughs> For everyone that doeth evil, hath the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Amen. Uh, so I think for all those scriptures, I think the King James uses reproved. Um, but the new King James uses um, exposed, right? But every time this word is used, it always includes the light, right? Every time the word rebuke is used, it's with love. Every time the word convict is used, it always mentions the heart and the mind. And every time the word exposed is used, it always mentions the light. And so every time exposed is used, right? Oh, I'm myself, it always includes the light. We expose the darkness, not by talking about the darkness, but by showing our light. Yeah? It's to make them see that living in the light brings more joy and brings more fulfillment than living in the darkness. That's why Jesus encourages us to let the light shine before men, that they might glorify your Father because of your good works. So if you, oh, so thanks guys, you take a seat. And so if you've ever lost something under your bed, do you turn on the darkness? What do you do? You turn on the light. Why? Because the light expels the darkness. The, the light is more stronger than the darkness. And it shows the things that the darkness is hiding. And we expose darkness not by judgment, but Ephesians 4 tells us, but by truth spoken in love by godly character, by sacrificial love, right, by laying our lives down. And the light Jesus describes that's in us, it's not a little candle flame that's fragile and soft, but the light that we have is powerful and the world underestimates it. You know that, that song? Right, that this, I hate that song here. Yeah. It's only because of how they describe the light. I'm pretty sure the person who wrote that song was like roasting Christians. Because 